Health officials are sounding the alarm as a new flu strain surges across the U.S. and around the world. This new strain is driving millions of illnesses and tens of thousands of hospitalizations this season, with activity rising just ahead of the holiday peak. Scripps News Business and tech correspondent Maura Barrett live in Denver for us on this. And Maura, so officials are tracking this. What exactly are they looking at and who are they saying is most at risk? Right, so this is the subclade K variant of the typical flu virus that we see. And so it's been identified in the U.S., across the, the pond over in uh, the U.K. and other countries, and it's spreading really quickly. And the key problem here is that this variant is a different genetic makeup than the flu vaccine that was given to people this year. And so it's not going to totally, the vaccine's not going to totally protect against this strain of the virus. Now, in terms of at-risk populations, it's the ones that we typically see that are more susceptible to illness, so young children, older adults, pregnant people, the immunocompromised, they're the ones that are going to see risk of more severe flu complications. And when we talk about how fast this, uh, this virus is spreading, this flu is spreading, we've seen millions of cases already reported, 4.6 million cases, 49,000 hospitalizations, and 1,900 deaths. Now, the, the hospitalizations and deaths, doctors say, is kind of at the same point statistically statistically that we see most years. It's really that uh, number of cases that's concerning in terms of the high transmission. Uh, and that's something that might be impacted by lower vaccination rates. But ultimately, uh, epidemiologists, doctors that we've heard from have basically called out, uh, this isn't necessarily going to make people more sick if you've been vaccinated, but that more people will get sick uh, because the vaccine doesn't completely protect against this virus. If, if you're able to follow that. Uh, but basically, you'll want people to, to look out for fever, cough, fatigue, body aches, uh, those types of symptoms. Uh, and in children specifically, they're seeing with this strain is increased GI issues as well, Holly. Oh, and we know that a lot of people traveling this time of year, it's the holidays, people get together with friends, family, they get on airplanes in crowded airports. Uh, so what's the best way to stay healthy, even as we're seeing a number of flu cases grow? So this might not help for, for right now if you're getting on a plane today or tomorrow, but it's important to go and get your vaccine for this year, doctors are saying. Even if this year's vaccine is not a perfect match for this exact strain, it still does reduce those severe outcomes. You'll avoid hospital, you'll avoid death, and it's strongly recommended for anyone six months and older to go and get vaccinated. The thing is that we're seeing with this high transmission rate is the fact that just 130 million Americans were vaccinated with the, for the flu this year. That's less than half of the total population and that's down 10 percent compared to this time last year so that's why there's this concern about the transmission in addition to going and getting your vaccine doctors say do all those standard preventative steps wash your hands stay home when you're sick maybe pull out your uh, face mask um, to, to cover your mouth because this is a, a droplet risk uh, virus that gets spread if you're going to you know crowded areas like an airport or a train station uh, and those are things that you should keep in mind obviously through the end of the in the holiday season, but going deeper into winter as well, Holly. That we all have all those masks left over from the pandemic, and it doesn't look so weird to wear one. So if you can, you can. So Scripps mm -hmm. News correspondent Maura Barrett, thank you for that update. We appreciate it. And have a ha happy, healthy holiday to you.